Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing this product here which is the Sense Plus Smart Wireless Switch from Nanoleaf that allows you to turn off your Nanoleaf products uh, wirelessly. It doesn't necessarily need to be stuck to the wall but we're going to have a look what's inside the box and see what it's all about. So this is what my switch came in, a small padded envelope and a, and a small box. And to put this into size comparison, this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this is a PlayStation controller. So you can see it's very small, actually, smaller than I thought it was gonna be from the pictures. We all, you know, these were mock-ups and we didn't know exactly how big it was gonna be. But as I thought smart bulbs were gonna be in more of a gaming setup, I thought it's a great comparison for a PS5 controller or an iPhone, very normal items that we have in our homes. This, of course, is the Sense Smart Wireless Switch from Nanoleaf. I'm a big fan of Nanoleaf, so I'm excited to unbox this. This was about seven months when they announced this for me. It's been actually been announced a bit longer than that. Uh, but when I saw this, I knew I had to invest straight away um, because I love smart tech. My whole home is literally smart bulbs. Every room has one, apart from the cupboards and the basement and the, the attic, places that you just don't spend enough time in to really uh, to utilize it. Uh, but this is definitely an exciting product from Nanoleaf, very small box uh, with very simple instructions that basically say that it's got motion sensors, daylight sensors, uh, configurable buttons, and the fact that it's wireless. And inside the box, as we'll see, will be the switch and the advertised panel that you can stick to your wall. So let's have a look what's inside. It's a very fairly easy box to open, no fancy Apple stuff here. Uh, you can just open the top. Um, and then inside, we have the switch. So this is what comes in the box. Uh, we've got the instructions. This one doesn't come with a specific QR code for the devices. This does have a specific QR code, but this isn't connected through Apple Home. So this doesn't have the Apple Home QR code that we're used to on other an Nanoleaf products. Uh, as this is just instructions and boxes, I'm gonna move this away because the main part of this is looking at the switch and what I wanna call the docking station um, but really it's just the, the panel for this to go. Um, got the nice Nanoleaf logo down the bottom corner and then obviously the remote itself um, has actually no Nanoleaf logos on at all. That's uh, quite a shock. Um, I guess they didn't need to because if it's living in this panel then it's got it there. Now on the Nanoleaf uh, device we have an on button, an off button and then we have three customable buttons on this side and three customizable buttons on here. And how this works is you'll press this once for option one, twice for option two, and then you will hold it long for option three and the same with this side. And then there's a dimmer, which is absolutely fantastic for this piece of equipment. And this is what I mean. The device is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna bring the PS5 controller back um, and you can see that, you know, I was expecting it to be the same size lengthwise from the pictures. That's how I depicted it. But it is, you know, fairly small. Um, and it kind of doesn't need to be any bigger. Um, the only thing I would say from like first opinions is I thought the plastic would be a little bit more rugged. This feels quite, if you can hear that, the tap test. Um, I would say the plastic feels a little bit cheaper than it was what I was expecting from a nano leaf product. Um, this here is the battery pull tab, uh, and once you pull that out, the um, the switch is ready to go. And from a design standpoint, I really do like how the interface looks. It's very easy to use for someone who may be staying over at your house and just needs to turn it off by pressing off and turning it on and dimming it, like very simple stuff. And then these modes here are great just to be more of the expert, you know, special modes that you want. Maybe you've got a gaming mode or a movie mode or like a dim light mode, reading. We've all got our special scenes and it's nice to have at least six on one remote without having six individual buttons, the ability to actually configure these is great. As unboxings go, that was pretty simple. And I, I kind of like that, the fact that you can just open it up and you've got the switch and the panel ready to go. A mistake I made when I installed my panel was I actually stuck it next to my light switch because I thought that's the most useful place to go. But after you know thinking about it, here would have been a better place. This is my desk and I want to alter the lights while I'm working it's a better idea. Instead of having the remote wirelessly on the desk all the time, I can now, you know, ass essentially do it from my desk. But then you've got to think about the motion sensors and the daylight sensors in terms of where you place it. 
And at the moment, there isn't really much support from the app on what uh, the sensor's sensitivity is apart from a text version, which is something that I think they might change in the future to help users understand exactly where to place this and how much light is being let in because the sensors are what I'd call very quiet. They don't really show that they're currently uh, you know, sensing that light or motion. There's currently no color indicator that I've seen to show that the sensor has gone off. There's lots of customizations with it and it's just, you know, overall a very exciting product to have. But before I end this unboxing, if uh, the video ends abruptly, then this is great news. But currently the switch doesn't really work with many of Nano Leaf's products. But I don't want that to taint the video because it's, it's obviously a fantastic product. And I think if they can patch it as soon as possible, then brilliant. But if this video is going to be probably double the length, I'm going to talk about why this is an interesting product that maybe if you're thinking about buying it now, it best to sort of hear this because it is quite interesting what Nanoleaf have done. So funny enough, Nanoleaf has actually released this product with most of the features coming soon. And that is the most hated word I would say in the tech community. And it, they've kind of taken a page out of Apple's book and released something and just gone on the premise that, yeah, we'll, we'll promise that we'll make this and when you buy it, you'll be able to use it soon. And another fellow YouTuber, Marquez Brownlee, would say never buy a product on a promise because they might not pull through. So we're in this phase now where Nanoleaf have released this switch saying it will be able to turn off all their lights. And I'll say all their lights because their FAQs have been updated recently. Uh, to basically say it's only working with some at the moment, which is a bit of a shock and I'm not sure that's the right move to do because I bought it on the premise that it would work with all the Nano Leaf stuff and it only really works with one light in my house, which are my Christmas lights at the moment, which is annoying and it's, it's a bit sad because I feel like we've got it and we can't do anything with it. However, and I'm only going to say this because I do like Nanoleaf as a company and I know that people have had bad experiences, but you have to take your own experience of a company before you can really make your own opinion. And I've had very good experiences with them. I had a ball break on me and they replaced it like instantly. So I've not had a bad experience with Nanoleaf. This is now just the first questionable experience. Like I feel a bit lost as a customer because I can't use something that I was very excited to use. And I feel like it's caused a split in the Nanoleaf community because you've got kind of two setups going. Most people tend to either do the gaming advanced setups with the cool RGB, the triangles, the squares, the lines, the hexagons, you know, the fancy products that Nanoleaf are very good at. And then you've got people like me who live in a smart home where we've got like the 4D, we've got the Christmas lights and the, you know, the light bulbs. You can have both, but you know, I've gone that route, but I know some people start with more the shapes and the advanced stuff. And I feel like the remote that's going to be, you know, compatible with more the uh, fancy shapes and lines which have been designed with more Nanoleaf technology in comparison to the ones that have been designed with like the Apple technology is where you might find there's a bit of a difference. And I think it's annoying though because I bought a smart switch, which a light switch for a light bulb is how my brain worked should have worked out the box. And they do, they do. It's just that my bulbs are not the same ones as the more recent ones. They've got tiny little bits of technology difference in them. And that's the frustrating side because I think it's not the switch's problem. It's the fact that Nanoleaf haven't really made it clear on their website what works with what. And even someone who's in the tech world, I do struggle trying to work out what's Matter, what's Apple, what's Thread. Like there are different ones. Mine all work fine and scenes and all that, apart from the Christmas lights don't like, like certain scenes with my light bulbs. But like, it's just that continuity I feel like they're missing. And I think that's what's caused this problem. And that's all that people are annoyed about is I've bought this switch, it's practically useless because the bulbs that are perfectly fine and gonna last five years don't work with their switch. And the coming soon phrase is quite annoying because it's like, well, when are we gonna get it? Like, can you give us a roadmap? Because we were supposed to get scenes, uh, like music scenes from our 4D syncing with our bulbs and it used to glitch work. So we know it's possible and then they took it out and then we've not heard anything since. So I'm just hoping that Nanoleaf keep their reputation here by giving us something to work with and making sure that we don't feel like we've just been 
uh, manipulated into buying a good product that actually isn't going to work. So final thoughts on the Switch. Even though I said this is not a review, I think the product is great. I think the size is brilliant. I think as a device, it's definitely something I think is going to really complement NanoLeaf stuff because as someone who lives in a house not on their own, I love the voice commands and I love all like the stuff you can do with it, but my partner just wants to turn the lights on. So to have something that can meet in the middle is a big win. And that's why I think this as something in the market is what we needed. But the fact that it's not working out the box is kind of just a little bit annoying. Obviously this is coming from a perspective of someone who runs essential light bulbs. And obviously someone might have all the nano leaf stuff that has all the tech that can do it out the box and work with the Sense Plus. Uh, might think, well, what's he on about? Because actually it's a fantastic switch. And I believe it probably is. I think the technology is great. I've got mine stuck to the wall already. It, but at the moment, it's just sort of sitting there. And that's why I wanted to cut this bit out after, because I feel like once NanoLeaf sort it, then we won't be complaining. And I think as an experience, it's a fantastic bulb. So, so if you're on the fence with, about buying the Sense Plus switch, check out the FAQs, check out which technology you got at home and see what's going on Reddit because I find that really useful to see what's going on in the world of NanoLeaf. There's obviously quite a few complaints about dodgy software and all that, but you get the know-how of the community and what's actually going on. And it's current time, fantastic innovation. <laughs> it just doesn't work at the moment. But thank you so much for tuning in. If you are interested in smart tech or smartphones or even applications, my name's Carl Lightning and I run this channel talking about all the fancy stuff in the technology world. Uh, a subscribe and a like it really supports the channel. And of course, leave a comment down below and we can have a chat about this smart switch because I'm hoping in the future uh, this is going to be like in every room. But for now, I've got one downstairs and one in this office. So let's see where Nano Leaf takes us.